So we're, we're continuing our series on WordPress development. Um, and if you look here, we're going to work in the functions um, file in our, um, our child theme folder. So the file that says functions, it should be on the same level as your footer, header, index. We're going to work on that file there. What we're going to do now is add a function that allows us to modify the length of the excerpt. Okay, I'm going to have you go through the code. I'm going to save the credits for the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a function. We are not going to add any kind of filter. So this is a function that we are going to create. Um, this is not my own information. So um, I'll, like I said, I'm going to give credit to where this goes at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this function excerpt. So you start by saying it's a function, or well, you can say it, but you're going to have to type it. You're going to write the name of the function called excerpt. Now, if you've ever taken a programming class of mine, um, we've, uh, unless you're just now taking it, um, you've probably done functions, and every function can receive arguments. We call these parameters. It's going to receive one parameter, and we're calling it the limit. So you use a dollar sign to represent a variable, and then you write the name of the variable. We're calling it limit. Because what we're going to do is we're going to limit how many words we send out in our function. And the end result of any function, um, most of the time, it returns something. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to get the excerpt from WordPress, and we're going to play around with it. Okay. So the excerpt is actually a string of all of the text of the, the, the word that it creates the excerpt from. And it basically just grabs 50 of the first words of the post, turns it into the excerpt. So what we're going to do is we're going to capture that excerpt, and we're going to call it excerpt as a variable. Again, dollar sign, write out excerpt, that is the variable. To give the variable a value, we put the equal sign, and now we're going to do a PHP function called explode. It doesn't that sound like a lot of fun. Okay, the explode function is part of PHP. And what it does is it, it gets um, three different values. The first value is what's called a delimiter. Okay, the delimiter is basically, it's anything we're going to use to separate items in our string. So what this is going to be is a space. And the space is going to be, it's going to basically look for any time there's a space. When there is, it's going to pull out everything before it, that space, and put it into what's called an array. And an array is a list of items. So in our case, it's going to be a list of words. The first, in this case, it's going to be the first 50 words because that's what WordPress does. However, we need to get the excerpt. So we call the WordPress function that is get the excerpt. And that is going to give us a string. And the last thing on the explode is we're going to set the limit. Now the limit is the upper value. And what that means is whatever we pass it here, it's normally an integer number you provide. And that number is going to represent um, what is the limit to the excerpt. So remember, up here, we put limit as a variable here. So what it's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to determine what the output's going to be. We can put any number in there, and that will be the upper limit. So as long as the excerpt doesn't exceed it, if it does not exceed the limit, it just returns the whole excerpt. So if your, excerpt is, if your post is only 30 words long, it's going to be 30 words here. And the limit here is going to be a higher number, possibly. The limit might be 40. So we have to account for what happens if there are fewer than our limit in there. So that's what we're going to do next. But just so you know, it's going to explode it. It's later going to implode it. And so we're going to use this implode here. And it's going to, everywhere, um, everywhere there's a new word, it's going to take the delimiter, in this case a space, and insert it. So now it's going to replace all those spaces that you took out before. In this case, it's just the excerpt. Okay. So we explode it, we implode it, and then we return it. However, that's not everything we're going to do. But this is the basis of that. We're going to return the excerpt. 
We're not done, but like I said, this takes the string, which is just um, uh, uh, quotation marks with an excerpt, 50 words. It's going to turn it into a list of words, and it determines what goes in the list by every time there's a space, it drops it in there. Implode then takes a list, in this case, the excerpt is now an array or a list of words, and it turns it into one string, putting a space wherever there was a separation of words. So that just kind of reverses what we did in explode. However, we have one problem here, and that is what if we exceed our limit? Okay. What if um, we have set a limit to 25, but there's only 10 words in the excerpt? So we're going to account for that using an if else statement. So it looks like this if else. And then inside, we're going to tab it over. Okay, so on here, we're checking to see what are we checking for? We're going to say we're going to get a count of everything in the excerpt. Okay, so if the count of the excerpt is greater than or equal to the limit, okay, so um, I decided to do a little research. Uh, but I want to talk about arrays. I mentioned it. So what I did is I opened up some PHP files. And the first thing I want to talk about is explode returns an array of strings. So let's look at an array. An array is like a list of items. They call it an ordered map where it associates values and keys. If you took Python programming, that's called a dictionary. And C Sharp uses a dictionary too. Um, but basically the idea here is an array is a list. We have a key and a value, key, value, key, value. I believe the key in this kind of a generic array is probably numbers array, one, two, three. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's how they do it by default. So for you to understand. Now let's go back to explode because there's something here I noticed. Um, you give it the delimiter and that's what um, uh, allows you to separate each item. So the delimiter we gave here is a space. And so it's a, every time it sees a space, it's going to use that to separate our string, which is the full excerpt. Then there's this thing called limit, and that's the part I didn't quite get. So what the limit does, if it's a negative or it's a positive number, it, it will return, help a return array that contains a maximum limit of the elements. However, there's one more element at the end of the array, which is the rest of the string. And that's where I was uh, confused. So let's say the excerpt has 50 words, and we set a limit at 30. So it's going to have 30 words, and then it's going to have one, la one extra item that's going to be all the rest of the excerpt, the remaining 20 words, all in one string, one element. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of that last element if the excerpt happens to be longer than the limit. What we're going to do is so if it's at least the size of the limit or larger, what we want to do is this thing called array pop. And array pop, what it does is it will remove the last element in an array. So it takes the excerpt and it pops out the very last thing and by default the way it's set. So now the excerpt, now we have the, re we're missing those remaining words. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna implode, we're gonna reverse that explode. So we have to choose the variable excerpt. And then we're gonna put equals implode, and in parentheses, we're gonna send it a delimiter now this time, it's going to, within each of those items in the array, it's going to sandwich a space in between. And then excerpt. So we take that excerpt, um, which is currently going to be an array of words, and each word gets put back into excerpt as one single string. But we're going to do a thing called concatenation. We're going to put a little dot, and the dot in PHP means add. And so we're going to add to it a little dot 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 so we add this excerpt here and we need to put a little semicolon okay so in other words if we're stuck with this extra piece at the end which is all the remaining words then we want to pop it out um, and add in the place of that last piece these dots 
Okay. Now, in the case of where there are fewer words than limits, we don't end up with anything at the end. We just end up with the main one. So this line of code here is good, but we got to put it in the else because what we're saying here is we're first saying, um, do we do we exceed or match the limit? If we did, we got to pop the last item out. If we didn't, we just implode it. There is no bunch of words at the end. We get our excerpt. And then at the end, we're going to return it, but we're going to add one last little piece here. And this is the part that can be very complicated. And this is going to add to the length of this video. I apologize. Okay, so I might have to break this in two. 